So, true life, my socks never match. At least if my socks don't match, they do match in color. They're at least like color coordinated. I'm about to head to the gym. I have hit cardio. I feel kind of meh about like where I'm at in terms of sickness. I feel like I can still do cardio. I feel okay, but like it's annoying that my nose is runny. I wake up and I feel worse and then I'm sure like most of you I feel kind of better as the day goes on. But like when I first wake up, it's like, oh my God, I can't get out of bed. So anyway, I have hit cardio today. I'm going to film it. I did... Um, film hit cardio a couple weeks ago, but I'm gonna be on the curve and I will admit my first couple weeks of hit cardio I probably was not pushing myself as hard as I should have been and um, After watching my coach is Paul Ravella and after watching a video that he put up I think it was like my it was like after my second week of prep um, It just kind of made me realize like how hard I truly did need to be pushing myself and I was pushing myself like I was out of breath after my interval, but like if you are not like bent over, like you should be, it should like knock the freaking wind out of you, right? You should be sprinting so hard that you like have to stop for a second. I usually sprint for my 15 seconds and then after that I'm like bent over and like barely moving my feet. And then after like 20 seconds I kind of like regain my energy. I start walking and then I start jogging again for that full minute 45. And then I sprint again. So um, if you're doing intervals, I see people doing intervals that are like 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I'm like, then you're not doing high intensity intervals because high intensity means like the highest level you could possibly be pushing yourself at. Like you're racing for the gold. I talked about this on Instagram. Like you're racing for the gold. Someone's chasing you. Like you are sprinting. Think about something that motivates you and just sprint towards that or away from it or something. But I'm going to show that to you guys and probably do a voiceover and just like talk you through it. Like what's going on in my head. And I actually, I play the same song on repeat every single hit cardio session because there's like a certain point in the song that it just like kicks on and motivates me to do my sprint. So yeah, but I'll catch you guys there. Um, in the car on the way there, I'm going to talk about like prep, diet, like macro hacks that I've discovered um, that are things that people tell you but that you don't appreciate until you're doing them yourself so I'll talk about that when I get in the car. What's up you guys so as I'm driving to the gym I just want to talk about like macro slash prep hacks and the ones that I've found to be the most helpful. So number one this is so obvious, I feel stupid even telling you, but number one is choosing volume over like taste. So a perfect example is like Ben and Jerry's ice cream or Halo Top. You can eat a whole pint of Halo Top or you can eat one serving of Ben and Jerry's. Like do you want one serving or four to fill up your stomach and make you make you feel full and satisfied um number two i would say is just freaking drink water like drink it like there's no tomorrow i try to chug an entire um shaker like before each time i eat and i eat five times a day and then throughout the day i will fill it up and drink it um throughout that but like always before i eat a meal i drink a full thing of water just because like it kind of helps initially fill me up it was one but i have like prep brain to the max so i don't remember what it was um water volume oh plan ahead so early on um, I don't really need to plan ahead, but like the hardest thing is if you're just going about your day and you're like, okay, well, what am I going to fill next? Because then, then you end up just with like an odd number of macros left for the day and it's like impossible to fill them. So for me, especially as I reach the end of the night and I get like really sad and like I don't have any food left, not that I'm not sad that I don't have any food left, but it's like, you're hungry, you just wanna keep eating, but you can't. I plan out the next day what I'm gonna have. Um, and some people do it like way ahead of time where they eat the same thing every day, but I can't really eat the same thing every day. There are lots of things I crave. So like, last night I went ahead and planned out that this morning I was gonna have French toast. I usually have oatmeal, but I wanted something different um, before my workout. And then after my workout, I went ahead and planned exactly what I'm gonna have because I am going to have a like larger 
dinner later on in order to allow myself to have something that's a little more calorically dense I do have to plan well ahead of time around that um, anyway those are my hacks I hope that helps and that you're not too bored of me talking at this point so I'll catch you guys at the gym all right you guys bear with me this is take number two for this video so I'm really sorry about the poor quality Basically, I just had to um, do the update for iMovie because my computer was no longer compatible. So, moving on. Hit hey, cardio. I do a five-minute warm-up at this pace, a five-minute cool-down, and then in between, I'm going to do 10 minutes total of intervals. And my intervals are a minute 45 of that jogging pace and then 15 seconds of what you're seeing right now where I'm sprinting full out, where I can't possibly give any more effort um, into my sprint. I'm literally running as fast as I possibly can. Honestly, it's probably like 19 miles per hour. I looked at it at one point and saw 19.2, and regular treadmills only go up to 12 miles per hour. So that's just a little bit of a, gives you an idea. And then even after I finish an interval of 15 seconds, I can't, run right away I so I walk for a few seconds and then I pick my wedgie and then I jog for that minute 45 and then you'll see me kind of push on the treadmill here in a second to get myself going a little bit faster that's just these treadmills um, even though you can speed up right away that little push just helps it get moving faster so it makes me sprint sooner so that's why I do that anyway I'll stop talking because my voice is horrible and I'm gonna get this uploaded for you guys so thank you so much for watching You guys these are bagels that are protein bagels i ordered them from bodybuilding.com don't worry that's just my p.o box in case you didn't know if you really want to know it go for it and send me something <laughs> anyway just kidding you know send me anything so i'm gonna open these um maybe you gotta be smarter than the box am i right So you can't buy just one. You have to buy a whole box of them. So I think I got there, and they're like still soft. Don't worry. There's four bags here, and they the total was like 20 bucks. So basically, they're five dollars a bag, which to me is totally worth it. So basically, a little bit less than a dollar a bagel, and I'm super pumped. The macros are really good. They have um, what is it? 260 per bagel, 260 calories, 7 grams of fat, 25 carbs, and 28 protein. Nom, nom. Do you understand how crazy that is? 25 carbs for a whole bagel. Wrap your mind around that. Most bagels are like 55, 60 carbs. Like, worth it. What else I got at the store? I ordered those from bodybuilding.com. I got Halo Top, the birthday cake one, and the mint one. I find that the original flavors, so like birthday cake, mint, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and lemon cake, they're lower in calories, so um, it's a little bit more worth it. They have like a gram less of fat and like a gram less of carbs or somewhere around there, so I'd rather eat a little bit more. Plus, I like those flavors. I got pizza sauce for my bagel, and they didn't have fat-free cheese, um, like the shredded version, so I'm gonna use a laughing cow cheese and just chop it up and put it on top, so I'll show you when I'm done. And I got another one of these because it helped me feel better when I had a sore throat. So that's all I got. Like I said, I s chopped this up. It didn't, I s didn't chop very well. It's basically smeared. And then I put an ounce of ground turkey on this. So I'm gonna go put it in the oven for like 10 minutes. All right, so this is what they look like now that they're done. And no, it doesn't look like a pizza, but it tastes like it. Um, the cheese is obviously chunky just because it's really super hard to cut those. But yeah, I think it looks really delicious. Mmm. Oh my God. A plus. Really good. Now I get a serving of Halo Top and it's not even nighttime. To doing an outro clip. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I did a lot of just talking and 
eating, but yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed the workout, learned something. As always, if there's anything you want to see, oh my god, I feel like my sneeze. Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said in my last video, I will be doing more full day of eating. I promise you. Um, more full day of eating videos. Um, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I don't know what's going on with my body right now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!